Hi, I'm Stuart J. Perlman, and I want to welcome you to Stuart J.'s Lens, the tales of small business in McKinney. I hope you enjoyed today's tale. It comes straight from small business in McKinney. You know what makes me smile. I'm originally from Puerto Rico. Okay, and when did you come to the United States? I relocated here in 2001 to complete the uh, residency in training in psychiatry at the University of Florida. All right, so psychiatry is your, yes, is your, your chosen direction. That's my major in medicine. My first job as a psychiatrist was to be a military psychiatrist at Weirful Hall Medical Center at Lifeline Air Force Base in Antonio, Texas. Terrific. How long were you in the service? I spent uh, four plus years in active duty. Um, some of that time overseas. <laughs> and um, and you can't say where? I can. I can. I was in, in some place between Iraq and Kuwait. Um, I was the primary psychiatrist for the area. Um, so my job was to drive to, um, usually it was like a two hours each way, to different posts where the military were um, um, deployed. Most, mostly what I did is was, was called a combat stress uh, team. It was a prevention team. We, and we also did some treatment. And uh, we tried to maintain the force um, healthy so they can go out and complete the mission. Um, after that, I, I, I went to the Southern Command Headquarters um, for the government working in a special assignment as an international health specialist. Um, the stress of being in combat comes from being away from home. It's, it's, it's a major one. From being there too, too much, you know, for too long. Most of our troops, sometimes when they go in, they are confined in a, in the perimeter, in a, in a post, and they don't get out for the whole time. They get attacked, but they, you know, they respond back to the attack, but then they usually don't get out. So that really, that confinement component is very stressful. And then. After that is when I was pulled out in a special assignment to the School of Aerospace Medicine as an international uh, health specialist. Okay. And they were looking for somebody who was uh, bilingual and can also manage other languages, Romance languages like Portuguese. And and that's when they sent me to the to do the uh, humanitarian operations in Latin America for the government. At that time, I was the uh, director for the humanitarian medical operations for the. Department of Defense in all Latin America. Right now, what is considered inactive reserve, I, I converted to inactive reserve when I moved back to Texas. Okay. And does that mean they could call you up at any time? Any time is possible, but it has to be like the, the next World War or something like that. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. You know, Did, do you think that experience led you specifically to what you're doing now? In a way, I think um, my position and point of view as a physician at this point is that not only I have a space here where I can, people can come and feel comfortable and, and, and you know get the help that they need, um, but also I see myself as somebody who needs to be outside in the community, uh, reaching out, like what I did in, in my years in the military as a physician, as a, as a psychiatrist. Healthcare, or what, it can, what we can do, it goes beyond the walls of this office or the hospital. I think uh, we need to know what's going on outside, what is the challenges for the community, and that will serve me understand how I can better help uh, my patients as part of their communities that they live in. Something that we would have tried, we're going to be doing here is a new treatment um, for depression, which is um, uh, medication free, uh, fairly safe, because it's very fo focalized. To the brain, and um, and it's it's not invasive. It's not we're putting anything through your skull. And for the people that have struggled with depression, have failed multiple medications, and looking for that option, that life, you know, we we'll, we we'll, we'll want to provide that new new option for them. This is a device where a certain amount of energy is provided through your head, and that will stimulate the neurons that are slow or not working as they should and fire all that um, chemicals and, and things that are required to make the normal function of the brain. And come in, you sit down like a, a dentist chair and um, there's, a, there's a plate more or less the size of my hand. We'll put it here in your left um, side of your, of your skull 
and I will sell some pulsating and electrical currents. It's a magnetic field actually, but it will send some electrical energy and, and it will stimulate the brain to work properly. It is a new option. I want to provide options and, and, and bring some hope to the people that are looking for that. In my downtime, I, I'm a wine educator, so I have formal, formal certification as a sommelier. And uh, I've been traveling to Texas to learn about Texas wines and uh, its regions, uh, quality products, and I've been teaching people and staff and being a consultant for sometimes some places. I have taught to winemakers that in training. So it's a fun side hobby. If you think you have a story to tell, send me an email. But I have to tell you up front, it better be good.